Good afternoon. Today, as you walked in, you had noticed that there were no worship aids to be picked up because we will begin to use our hymnals that are in your pews. Our unfortunate thing is our entrance hymn for today is actually not in your hymnal, but on a wonderful sheet of paper that is tucked into the top of your hymnals. So our entrance hymn today will be the summons. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time and follow along the way of discipleship with the Lord. As we gather in prayer tonight, we pray for the repose of the soul of Helen and Leon Wachachowski. And so, brothers and sisters, for the times we have failed to follow the Lord with all of our heart, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations in the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is, a, is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company and countless riches at her hands. The way of the word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Uh, 
got it. I usually lick my fingers to do that, but I didn't think they might. That's okay. Thank you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of the Lord is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit, inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You shall know, you know the commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not be a false witness, you shall not defraud and honor your father and mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have, I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing, go. Sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, so Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, we have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you. There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, as we gather on this 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we build on what we heard last week. Last week, if you recall, Jesus was just in a place. He was out preaching. It was not in a specific town. And he invited us to go back to the beginning, to rediscover our discipleship and our following of him from scratch. Today, we 
encounter Jesus again just someplace. St. Mark does not tell us where Jesus was. He was, just, he was somewhere. And he meets a man. He doesn't have a name. We don't know anything much about him except these bare few facts that St. Mark lays out for us in our gospel today. But this man really serves as any person, any buddy who wants to follow the Lord. And so you and I can both find ourselves very much in this man at the beginning of today's gospel reading who has something he needs to talk to Jesus about. You get the sense as St. Mark introduces him to us that he's had this question and this issue on his mind for a long time. But he's never quite found the right moment to bring it up to Jesus. Maybe Jesus was busy teaching, or Jesus was busy healing, or maybe he just didn't quite know how to put this into words, but never had just the right moment to open his heart to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, good teacher, what do I need to do to have eternal life? And could you please be specific? And so Jesus takes him very gently and very beautifully through what it means to be his disciple. To keep the commandments. To love him by deeds as well as attitude. And to return his love, to return that love, that same gaze of love that he sees this man with the same love that Jesus sees each one of us with as his disciples and those who want to be his disciples. To return that love with what we typically would talk about, our time, talent, and treasure. When Jesus invites this man to be his disciple, he speaks about it in those categories. Come, follow me, Sell everything you have and give to the poor. Time, talent, treasure. And I think we've all heard those categories before of how we return to the Lord from what he's given us. Time, talent, treasure. But like this man in today's gospel, I think we can all say, okay, Jesus, be specific. What does that mean? To return to you in love, time, talent, and treasure. Could we be specific about what that looks like and what that means? And so as we celebrate Stewardship Month at Holy Family this month, let's do be real specific about what that looks like and what that means to return to the Lord in love, our time, talent, treasure, all that we have and all that we are. These gifts that God has given to us that we now return to him, what does that look like? And so for the rest of this month, we're going to talk about it under the category of four hours. If you've seen the bulletin board in the atrium, you already know what those are. Four hours. An hour a week to go to Mass, whether here in person or on video. Hour a week to go to Mass. To be together as God's family to listen to his word, to celebrate his sacraments, hour a week to go to Mass. An hour a week in prayer and study. We have got lots and lots of opportunities to do that together every single week. We have faith formation classes for our young ones from first grade all the way through high school. For adults, we have adult education Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night every week in English, and Tuesday nights in Spanish. We have opportunities to pray together. Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, first Fridays, every weekend. The chance to be together and to pray together in just our personal prayer. But even more than that, if you're not able to come to church and to gather with us for adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, to come to daily Mass, 
to join the Rosary Group for prayer after Mass during the week, to come to Holy Hour on Thursday night, to spend time with the Lord on First Fridays. Pray with your family an hour a week. Pray the Rosary. Tell Bible stories. Pray for each other and for the needs of the wider world. We can all of us do that, to pray with our family, whatever our family situation looks like. We can all pray together with our family and sanctify our homes and our family life an hour a week. Hour a week for Mass. Hour a week for prayer and study. Hour a week to serve. We have so many opportunities to serve our parish community. Some of those are really specific, like serving as a reader or a minister of Holy Communion, as a lector, usher, you know, some liturgical service. We have things that are less specific. Anybody in this parish could be part of the gardening club. You can be yay tall and pull weeds. We're going to try to help them find out not to pull up the flowers along with the weeds, but that's part of growing. There are ways to serve in this parish that are very specific, very general, but ways that every single member of our parish community can serve an hour a week. If you need help knowing what those are, please come to the ministry fair after Mass today. It's down in the hall. Our week to go to Mass, our week in prayer and study, our week to serve, and finally an hour's wages a week to contribute to the church. People make a lot of very different categories of wages at Holy Family. It's one of the things that makes our parish so beautiful. And so if you make a million dollars a week, boy, would I love to talk to you after Mass. If you're out of work, if you don't have a salary coming in, the Lord has given you the great blessing of extra time to serve in our parish, extra prayer to offer for our parish and for our good. That's, again, a way that everybody in our parish can contribute an hour's wages a week. The commitment card that you got in the mail has a little table to help you do the math. You don't even have to do math. It's right there on the table for you. But when we respond to the Lord with those four hours, an hour a week to go to Mass, an hour a week in prayer and study, an hour a week to serve, and an hour's wages a week to support the mission of the parish, then we, like the man in today's gospel, are able to really enter into discipleship. We are really able to return to the Lord in love, the love that he has shown to us. We ask, like Solomon in our first reading today, for the gift of wisdom to recognize the many, many blessings that God has given to each one of us so that like the man of today's gospel, we can return those blessings for our neighbor's good and the glory of God who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Gather together as God's family, brothers and sisters, let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the Lord who gives us every good gift, let us offer to him now these are prayers and humble petitions. For the church, may the Lord continue to bless her and protect her from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and peoples, may the peace of Christ turn all swords into plowshares, resulting in healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who bear financial responsibility for family, may God's providence free them from any anxiety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For anyone in this faith community living through a time of strife, May the Holy Spirit bring peace and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed from this life into the next, may they be swiftly ushered into the eternal banquet of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, we recognize how blessed we are by the Lord and be given the strength to share those blessings with each other and the wider world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those whom we've promised to pray and those who have no one to pray for them today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, everlasting God, hear the prayers of your family gathered here and grant us all these things we ask with humble yet confident hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And during this month of the Holy Rosary, we unite our prayers to the powerful prayers of our Blessed Mother as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Well, brothers and sisters, during this moment of the offertory in the Mass, we offer our gifts to the Lord in thanksgiving for all that he has done for us. For those who join us here at church tonight, we invite you to participate in that offertory by dropping your envelope in the baskets at the doors as you leave Mass. For those who join us by video, we welcome you also to our celebration today and invite you to participate in our offertory by either sending your envelope to our parish office during the week or making an online or text message contribution, the instructions for which are in your worship aid today. We thank you all so very much for your generous support of our parish and our mission to love God and serve his people. Please join in our offertory hymn, Open My Eyes, number 659 in your hymnal.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Luis Rafael our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and with your spirit. Spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Although we cannot be all physically present together to receive Holy Communion, brothers and sisters, let us unite in prayer and pray our spiritual communion prayer, which is found in the insert in your hymnal. For those who join us by video, it is in your worship aid today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please join in our communion hymn, O Sacrament Most Holy.
Let's pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a couple of things to let you know about today. As I mentioned during the homily, the ministry fair is after Mass today in the hall downstairs. So if you would like to just find out more about the different things that happen at Holy Family, different ministries, different ways to be involved, please do just take a swing through the ministry fair uh, downstairs. We've got representatives from most of those ministries uh, to speak with you, answer questions. Uh, some of them have free food, others have free things, and so it's a great way to not only build community, but also get free stuff and sign up to be part of the community and volunteer at Holy Family. Three for three, all is well. Uh, if you did not yet get your packet in the mail, um, especially if you, did, if you need extra um, commitment cards. Everything you need is in the atrium under the stewardship bulletin board. So please don't be shy if you need more cards, if you need an extra letter, if you need anything at all uh, from that packet, please do pick up anything you need uh, from the atrium underneath the stewardship bulletin board. Um, it's going to remind us about how we used our four hours uh, for the next several weeks. Part of that, as I mentioned, is growing in prayer and study. And so just a reminder, we do have faith formation opportunities for adults um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights. Um, the whole listing is in the atrium on the bulletin board, also on the small bulletin board by the side door. You can take a picture of that on your phone and be able to come, you know, even if it's only every now and again, to develop your relationship with the Lord and to grow in understanding of these beautiful gifts uh, of the tradition of our church. In particular, uh, the Tuesday night faith formation um, is going to begin a new program this Tuesday. Um, it's called Metanoia. It focuses on the big questions. Who is Jesus? Who am I? Is this all there is? You the big questions of life that invite us to respond to the Lord. And so if you just need something that you're thinking about or things that you help you to think, I invite you especially as they're beginning that new series on Metanoia this Tuesday uh, to come and join in the study. Other than that, regular mass schedule, regular confession schedule, things are pretty normal at Holy Family this week. So brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join in our recessional hymn, number 567, God We Praise You, number 567. <laughs>